Hello there. Today we're going to look at Exactly How You Are by Ballpark Music. I like this song because it is really well structured and it has some great part writing that doesn't make the mix too busy. I also like this song because it does a really great job of capturing nostalgia. The chords that we'll need for this song are a D chord, D major 7 sus 2, which is way easier to play than it sounds, an A major chord, an F sharp minor 7 chord, or you could just play an F sharp minor chord, and you'll need a B minor chord. But if that one's too hard, you could do this easy version as well. It's a bit spicier, but it's just like an E minor chord, except we just drop that third finger down. And an E major chord. The chord progression for the start of the song, and most of the verses, is going to start on the D chord. And we're going to have two crotchets, so one and two and. And then we're going to have a rest on the three. Then we've got three more quavers, which are going to be up, down, up. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and. Then in the second bar, we start with the D major seven sus two. And we start with a rest and then we have a quaver and we're going to do that twice. Rest, up, rest, up. Then we have another rest and then we're going to do two more quavers, so up, down, and then on the end of four of that bar, we're going to change to the A. So that bar in isolation will sound like one and two and three and four and. So it's like a push into the next bar. So the first two bars together, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Starting the third bar, we've got that A tied over. Then on the second beat, we're going to play the A again with the downstroke. Then we have the rest up, down. And then on the end of the four, we've got the F sharp minor. So this is the same rhythm pretty close to that first bar. So we have and one and two and three and four and one. Tying into the next bar a little bit. So in the fourth bar, we now have the F sharp minor, which has been tied over from the previous bar. Then after that initial F sharp minor, on the and of one, we have a quaver followed by another quaver, and then we've got a, two quavers tied together. So that would be and one and two and. And then we just have three quavers to finish it off. Up, down, up. So the last bar would sound like and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So the whole progression all together would be one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. The intro has an affected guitar lead line as well. So that would start on the A up here, go down to the F sharp, to the D, to the C sharp, to the G sharp. So that would be. Then we have the A, B, C sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, F sharp. So the whole thing. At the end of the verse, the chord progression changes a little bit again. So we go to a B, then we go to an E. And these both have the same strum pattern as each other. So it starts off with crotchet, crotchet, rest with three quavers. So up, down, up. Then in the next bar we have rest, up, down, up, rest, up, down, up. So that would sound like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then the same thing on the E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. On top of the B minor and the E, we have a little bit of a lead line as well. So it starts off 
with the B minor triad up here. And that's held for an entire bar. And then we have a dotted crotchet on this high D. So it's one and a half beats. One and two down to the C sharp for a dotted crotchet as well. So one and two and three and and then finishing on the B for a crotchet. So the two bars over the B minor are going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then when we get to the E, we have a similar thing here with just an E major triad. Then going into the second bar, we have a quaver with just the E and the G sharp. And then that's gonna go up to a crotchet of the E and the A. And then we're gonna hold for a dotted crotchet for the A and then back to a crotchet of the G sharp. One and two and three and four and. So that whole lead line together. Uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The pre-chorus is mostly just three chords. So you've got the D and an A and then it bounces between those and then finishes up on the E. So the first four bars has a two bar long chord progression. So that would start off on the D. So it'll be one and two and, so that's two crotchets. Then we have three quavers. So that's still gonna be down, up, down. And then on the last quaver of the bar, we're going to change to an upstroke A. That's gonna sound like one and two and three and four and. Then in the next bar, it's mostly quavers. So we're gonna carry this A over from the previous bar. And one and two and three and four and. But if you can, really try and emphasize those last three quavers. The majority of the pre-chorus will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it does that twice. Then we just stick on the D chord and we've got the quavers idea. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we change to the E chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. This section also has a lead guitar line. So that starts off with this D major triad right up the neck on the guitar. And it's just going to do quavers through that. One and two and. And then coming back to sit on the A, the 10th fret of the B string. And then when it changes to the A chord, it's going to go to an A major triad. And just do the same shape. So then that repeats as well. Then we come to one of my favorite parts in the song, where the lead guitar just has an octave run up from the F sharp, the G sharp, to the A, to the B, to the C sharp, D, and then we start going into quavers on the E, and then all the way up to the G sharp. So that would sound like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then it'll go into the chorus. The chorus has the exact same chord progression as the verses, except the strum pattern has changed just a little bit. So it still starts off on the D chord. We're going to have a crotchet followed by a quaver and two semi quavers. So that'll be like one and two and a. And then we'll have three quavers. Three and four. You notice how I flipped my picking there because of the semi quaver. Three and four. And then on the and of four, we'll change to D major seven sus two. So that would be one and two and a three and four and. And this works because the D major seven is going to be tied over into the next bar. 
then the D major 7 has the same strum pattern that we'd normally have for the F sharp minor 7. So we'd have and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and... Then we'll go to the A chord. So now we're going to have the same strum pattern that we had on the D chord for the A chord. So 1, and 2, and a 3, and 4. Then change into the F sharp minor on the and of 4. And the same as normal strum pattern here. And one, and two, and three, and four, and so the whole pattern together. One and two and three and four and 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 coming out of the chorus, we go back to the B minor and we're gonna have crotch it, crotch it. So it's gonna be down, down. Then we have three quavers, so down, up, down, then we change the D chord on the last one, so it's going to be an upstroke, so that's bar with a B minor, one and two and three and four and, then into the second bar there with the D, would have tied over from the previous bar, and one and two and three and four and, then we just finish up on the A. Now there's a variation ending for this as well, which you can have a look at on the score, but it was basically just one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and that goes into the bridge. The chorus also has a electric guitar melody, so it is basically just a fragment of the intro melody. So it starts off on the A again, down to the F sharp, D, C sharp. So the first bit will be then it holds the C sharp. Then we go up to a high C sharp when the song gets to the A chord then down to the B, A, G sharp and it will repeat that over those chords. Then when it gets to the turnaround at the end of the chorus, it'll go up to the A, E, D, C sharp, A. On the second time through the chorus, when it goes into the bridge, it then lifts at the end of that phrase, that A up to a B. The chords for the bridge are basically exactly the same as the chords for the pre-chorus. We've still got the D, the A and the E. But on the third time of changing from D to A, I think it changes to a D to a A major seven. And then also the strum pattern for the E changes a little bit as well. So we've taken that strum pattern from the first bar of the chorus and inputted that here. So we'd have one and two and a three and four and. So it does that for three bars. And then on the last bar, it just does and one and two and three and four and just straight quavers. The bridge has a guitar lead line as well, which is mostly pretty easy. It's just octaves on the F sharp to the A to the B up to the C sharp and then back to the A. So it would start off like you notice the rhythm is a little bit offset there. On the second time, it squares it up. and then repeats that on the third time. Now we have semi-quaver octaves starting from the G sharp and going for an entire bar. Up to the A for an entire bar. Then we have three groups of four semi-quavers on the B. Then on the C sharp only one group of four. Then up to the D for two groups of semiquavers and finishing on the E for two groups of semiquavers. So the whole phrase would sound like If you found this video useful, consider subscribing to keep up to date with the latest releases. There's also a backlog of other videos which you could check out as well. 
If you wanted to see some videos of myself performing, there should be a link somewhere around my head.